Hey guys, Renee from Bargain Hunter Thrift Store here, and you're gonna see the same intro a whole bunch of time. I'm super busy, I don't have time to film a bunch of videos, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna do a whole bunch of unboxing videos. So let's go take a look right now, you'll see the same intro, but as soon as I'm done here, the video will change. Also, over these several type of unboxing videos that are coming out over the next week or two, leave a comment, whatever comment gets the most likes, so the most creative comment or most fun comment or something that's fun, whatever gets the most thumbs up from all other YouTube viewers, you're gonna end up winning a prize. I don't know yet what I'm gonna give away, but it's gonna be something cool. It's probably gonna be something antique related or so, or maybe we'll just send you a signed t-shirt, I don't know. But whoever has the most comments gets it. So it's gonna be this video plus the other videos coming. Also, if you leave a comment and you put curse words in there, guys, I just block you. I don't care if you say something negative. I don't care if you call me fat. Just don't use foul language because that's against YouTube policy. And as moderators, we have to delete those comments and we have to hide you from the channel, which we really don't want to do. So if you want to be negative, that's fine. Just don't curse. Anyway, most like comments going to win a free prize in about two or three weeks when I have a little bit more time. we got a big Michigan announcement coming up. It might already be up there. Check out our channel. And I also made a big silver find that's coming up too. But let's go look at some boxes. Bingo. So I saw these three hats on top of um, on top of a box that was sticking out. So I figured I'd do them really quick. This one doesn't say anything. The thing has been taken off. Actually, it says right here SP on the side buttons. But this is probably some kind of railroad conductor hat. I got another rare one somewhere. I just don't know where it's at. Maybe like that's station cool. police? Yes, yeah, it's something. Probably conductor. American Airlines. That's cool. Yeah, this is at least 20 bucks, but could be as high as 60. I have to look them up. Wow, small pilot. And then this one right here, Amtrak. That's cool. Again, you know, this one's at least 30 bucks and might be 40, 50. Again, I have to look them up. Kind of cool. All right, who knows what we find in here? Hey, Dustin, Con Air, Curling Air on 9.99. You can use it on your Barbies. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, again, if you guys have the Barbies, Dustin's a huge fan. Yeah. $4.99 on this one. $4.99? Close. What about these Valve, Valve repair kits? How much are they in the store? Probably 10 bucks a piece, 10 right? 10 bucks, yeah. Yeah, I'll do $4.99 each. That's good. Yeah, I'll do 4 99 each piece right yeah i will do 4 99 each Pine Clean. This is probably not, to see if this is still good. If it's good, we can use it. Oh, yeah. Close, go to Mommy. They price them over there. One favorite prayer book. That's good. Mm. <laughs> Daily Missile, St. Paul. Nice vintage. Yeah, smells good. Huh? It smells good. It smells like pine. David Lynn. It's a nice little old mirror. $2.699. That looks like an antique. $1.99. This is like a bathroom box. Yeah. Here's another clock. This is Tourist. Seven Jewels. Again, Germans. Pretty. Yeah, I'll get a little row set up in there. Sometimes we find so much stuff, people think like we don't sell it because we have so much of it. This bathroom, so let's just see what's in here real quick. These right here, uh, price individually, $4.99 each. White. Got it. We'll put $3.99 on this. This is nice little planter. $6.99. Moccasins. Take this to the girls. This is copyright Nomalini Cyrock made in the USA. It's kind of cool. $4.99. Vintage picture frames. As you can tell, I'm getting really dirty. These are uh, $6.99 each. Oh, yeah, your shirt. Sure. See, I see some old boxes here. That's why I'm like, let's just look really quick. Oh, nothing. But somebody will pay $1.99 for the box. $2.99 old school. So, this is cool. Again, made in the USA, seashell type of thing. Pretty. Mid-century. Yeah, clean this, do $9.99. Alarm clock, people come for these, $4.99. Another old alarm clock. Oh, that one's cool. Made in the USA, yeah, so people actually, people start collecting stuff. It's not that crazy yet, but people start liking the stuff. Yeah, I want $2.6.99. Here's another little box. $4.99. That's cool. These are the push lights. Nothing. And then soaps. I don't want to bore you with guys. Perfume Bondi. So I told you guys in past lessons, you got to really be careful with um, so stuff like this, after bath lotion. This is lotion, but if you find old perfume bottles, you'd be so surprised. I got a special video on that. And actually I talk about, um, I talk about 
old perfume bombs you don't want to pass them up like sometimes somebody might have grew up with this smell for like 20 years then they can't find it and they really want it and this stuff doesn't go bad this is Shawnee friction polar bean so I'm actually gonna look this up if I remember I'll put a bubble what it's worth but oh yeah it smells good what's that yeah it smells the same, I think. Yeah, but it, that oh, stuff, that smells nice. It doesn't go bad. But so, so what happens with these bottles? I had Avon bottles before. I bought like a whole Avon warehouse, and seventy-five percent of it was nothing special, and we just took them to swap meet. We did like five each or five for twenty. But then we had certain, like we had this one summer wind song, something orange, and I had like four or five hundred bottles. I looked them up on eBay. They were like seventy bucks a bottle. Dang. So I'm like, no way, because the other stuff is not worthy. So I just started putting them under forty-nine ninety-nine free shipping. I sell five a day. Dang. Every day I wake up, I start with two hundred dollars. So when it comes to these old perfume bottles, there's so I have a video on that. I think it's called "Don't Miss These on Yard Sales." I mean, you want to watch all our videos because you constantly will learn stuff. But even there, I'm showing. Oh, okay, this says number twelve when I research it. So it's Sean Nate number twelve. I'll put a bubble if I if I can remember researching it. Um, so people would uh, and they had some bottles in that video. They were like hundred bucks a pop. So old perfume, super important. My first locker was um, that I bought was with uh, old perfume on Storage Wars. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, so those were miniatures. That's a little bit different, but same kind of concept almost. This is cool. Boy's got a knife. There you go. Messed up though, but bucks. nah, it's really, it's really bad condition. Five uh -oh. bucks. Here's another clock. Uh, what do we do in the other one? Six nine. No, it's six nine. Oh, do the same thing. Even as people pay for vintage soap, it's so funny. Another good box. Uh, empty too. Actually, no, we keep that because I have some good jewelry. We can put that in there. The yeah, boxes are cool, I think. Some Where did I put the other one in there? Yeah. yeah, it's just good because, you know, it's, it's all about presentation. A bandage. Uh, do 99 cents. Vintage perfume bottle. $1.99. Actually, it's so expensive. Yeah, so. Sorry, I'm tired already. Even some of this powder stuff. Whew. This is vintage to $4.99. These old phones, people are looking for these all the time right now because if there's an emergency, your digital phones don't work. These will still work. Push really? Button. Yep. When we had that huge outage in San Diego, everybody was looking for these. Yeah. Clean these, and these are $9.99 then. Here, a little basket, $4.99. Okay, and the rest is just okay. I'm going to clean this up later. We'll go look at... Uh, it's kind of a little nice pill. We'll get another box to look at something else. Vintage wallet, keychain. Hey, Destin, just put that down on the floor right there for now. Let's get Stop another it. box. Yeah, let's get another. Okay, hit it. And bingo. Another box. Tree top as angels. Here, six ninety nine. Oh, feathers everywhere. This one's kind of loose. Four ninety nine. Here, these things do. Thank you. Do a dollar ninety nine each. Ooh, vintage alarm clock, Martina, made in West Germany. Pretty. That's cool. That's even before people had iPhones, they would travel with this. That's cool. It's like, okay, you know what? Time to put my alarm clock ready. Huh. Cool, huh? Mm -hmm. Tanya's like, why would you have that? I got a phone. Did you call me Tanya? Is that Tatiana? Oh. Porsche in Norway. Pretty. It's at least 10 bucks, but we're going to have to look this one up. So I'm just going to put this here to so don't price it. I'm not familiar with... Ooh. Oh look, it's an it's a postage stamp holder. Mm -hmm. See, hold on a second. So you would have this there, I'm assuming. Old. And then you would have your stamps, and then it's just on top. It has like a cover saying what it is. That's cool. It's sixty cents airmail or three cents United States, but I mean it's kind of faded out. But has it expired yet? It's kind of cool. They never do. You know, do four ninety nine of that. I got some good. Postage stamps never expire. Oh. Unless you stamp them. Oh shit. Cool. Sure. Four ninety nine. Right. In the Great Depression, people would put the money in post stamp because that's what it still cost. Here, see if we can tighten this. If we can tighten this, put like $6.99. It's so funny with these boxes. Like, it's so... There'll be something new for Mervyn's. And then there'll be like a bunch of old stuff. So that's cliche. Cool. Milk class lamp, $9.99. Pretty. Clear picture. Uh, it's nice, $9.99. Knee highs. We'll do. Mm. Yeah, just white tag these 99 cents a pack. We'll see jewelry purchase. Never. Ross and Simmons, but they're just. Uh, just a bag. Just a bag. Goblet. 
Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's right, really right. pretty. That's like Fenton vase. It reminds me of Tiffany's uh, breakfast at Tiffany's. Yeah, so this is this this is most likely I don't know the label on it, but a company was really known for these milk class colors or like clear colors, and it's called Fenton. These used to be like hundred bucks a piece. Now fourteen ninety nine. A lot of old class were really cropped in value. This is pretty imperial porcelain. Oh, that's cool. So, uh, here's six ninety nine, Dustin. Have to stay close by. The one we film. Oh, this is Fenton too. This is pretty. Yeah, and nice. you can tell by these sides right here. It's either Fenton or Fenton knockoff, but fourteen ninety nine. Okay. And I'm pricing this stuff cheap, so. Just fell out of it. Um, it's just flowers, but this is oh. pretty too. Nine ninety nine. Look at the porcelain on that. Oh. Nine ninety nine, and then uh, nine ninety nine. Oh, it went black for a second. Huh? It went black for a second. Uh oh. Okay, so we need to nice oil lamp need to find the top. I got a whole box full of top too. This is such a good unit. This is M and W hand painted USA. Hmm. Pretty. Yeah, it's okay. Huh. Clean at nine ninety nine. Ah, here we go. Huh? Hurricane lamp. Nineteen ninety nine. Actually, no. What? Let me see that again. Twenty nine ninety nine. We'll do like this is just for beach house look. We'll put three ninety nine on it. Color tag, color, color tag. Actually, you know these are nice. We'll do four ninety nine each of these. Color tag just means if it doesn't sell in thirty days, it goes half off. But beach type of stuff usually sells. Don't show it to mommy. She'll put it in her bathroom. <laughs> Actually, probably fit in that bathroom. Yeah, because we have an ocean view. Nice little vintage frames. Those are cute. Hmm. Nine ninety nine each. Bunch of belts in there, frames. There's a white thing underneath. Cool. Miniature yeah. frames, 199s. What, there's a white thing, what? There's a white thing. Oh. Jewelry bag, empty. Couple little bells. Oh, oh Japan. These are cool. Pretty. 3.99 this. All right, pause it and we'll get another box.